Good morning, my friends. Today is another asynchronous Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and it's an asynchronous day. Today I am meeting with your parents. That is why I cannot be with you. But you are going to work on your own today, just like you do every single Friday. So today for ELA, let's get started with our goal. Ready? I will edit my own writing and create a final draft. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, I am so excited because all year long, you have been writing amazing stories. Now, do you remember last week, you were checking one of your stories that you really, really liked and you were looking for punctuation marks, you were looking for capital letters and making sure that all of your words were spelled correctly. So today is the day that you are going to write your final draft. That means you are going to turn your story into a book. Oh, I am so excited. Now, when an author is ready to turn a story into a book, they have to check their writing over and over again, which is what you have been doing. So today, you are going to use this checklist to make sure that your story has everything that it needs. So once you are done using the checklist to make sure that your story has all of those things, you are going to write your story nice and neatly in your very best handwriting on these papers. Now your story might be one page, might be two pages, five pages, I don't know. You can use as many of those pages as you need to create your own book. And notice that there is even space for you to add beautiful drawings. So the first thing I want you to do is you are going to check your story by using the checklist. Make sure that you have everything on the checklist. Then you are going to write your story nice and neat in your very best handwriting on that piece of paper. Remember, you might need more than just one. And then the very last thing you are going to do is you are going to draw beautiful pictures to go along with your story. Let's read what the checklist says. So the very first point on the checklist says, I thought about how to write a good beginning for my story. So does your story have a good beginning? If it does, check, you did that. If it doesn't, make sure you go back and write a good beginning for your story. I told the story in order by using words like first, then, next, last. Maybe you use the word finally. If you wrote your story in order and you used some of those words, then check, you did that. I chose the action, talk, or feeling to make a good ending for my story. So does your story have a good, strong, and powerful ending? Check. I checked for punctuation marks at the end of every sentence. Hmm, go back and check. Make sure that there is a period or an exclamation mark or a question mark. Or if you had people talking in your story, make sure that you have quotation marks to show that they are talking. I checked for capital letters where they belong. So remember, Every sentence starts with a capital letter. If you are talking about somebody's name, that has to start with a capital letter. If you are talking about the date, a month or a day of the week, that has to be a capital letter. So go back and check. And then the last one, I used my best handwriting. That means that you wrote nice and clearly and neatly, and it was your very best handwriting. So once you have turned your story into a book and you have drawn the beautiful pictures, I want you to record a video of yourself and put it on Seesaw. In this video, you are going to be reading your story to me. So be sure to read in a nice and clear voice so that I can listen to your story. And finally, you are also going to take pictures of your story and upload it onto Seesaw too so that I can read it. When you are done with your book, you can move on to spelling. 
So practice your spelling words for cycle nine and you can choose three different ways that you are going to practice your spelling with the spelling menu. That's it for ELA, my friends. Bye.